Hey y'all, so today I want to share with y'all the different types of hairstyling products that exist. Custard, sprays, creams, foams, masks. So I'm gonna break all of it down for you, you know, make it palpable, make it easy to chew and swallow. Just think of me as mama bird, consuming food, chewing it, and then regurgitating it from my esophagus to transfer it to yours. But before I regurgitate this educational information, I would just like to thank Not Your Mothers for sponsoring this video. And to further help me explain the types of hairstyling products, I will be using some current and brand new items from the Curl Talk line. Everything is sulfate free, silicone free, and paraben free. If you would like to check out the current and brand new products from the Curl Talk line, I will link them down below in the description box. So let's get started. So first, let's talk about the most common styler, which is the leave-in conditioner. Just like the name suggests, it's like a conditioner, except you leave it in. The purpose of a leave-in conditioner is to provide your hair with additional moisture for hydration and detangling. Generally speaking, leave-in conditioners are not supposed to be used alone. I mean, if you want to use it alone, if that gives you good results, that's fine. Use it alone. No one's gonna freaking like come through your door knocking and then arrest you and take you to curly hair gel. However, leave-in conditioner is technically not a styler because it doesn't really add definition to your hair. The leave-in conditioner is gonna give you hydration and then after leave-in conditioner, you can use a styler that's gonna give you shape and hold. And this is where the actual stylers come in. There are gels and mousses, creams and foams. There are also sprays and custards. Probably the most common styler is hair gel. So gel is going to give you a harder definition with higher hold and mousse is gonna give you definition with medium soft touchable hold. It is very important to note that gels do not provide moisture. That's why a lot of people say, oh, I hate hair gel because it makes my hair dry, crunchy, and gross. Because you're not supposed to use it alone, silly. It's best to use a gel in combination with a leave-in conditioner. That way you get moisture and then your hold. Leave-in conditioner and gel go together like PB&J, like Tom and Jerry, Shrek and Fiona. Name a more iconic duo. Now, even in combination with the leave-in conditioner, some people might find gel to be a little too strong for their hair, and that is where mousses come in. Mousse helps to provide definition with very soft, touchable hold. When you're looking for a mousse, make sure they don't contain any drying alcohols as it can be very drying for the hair. You can always pair it with a leave-in conditioner first to prime and prep the hair with hydration so your hair doesn't feel as dry. Now something that is very similar to mousse is foam. Think of it as that one weird cousin that you meet like once a year and your mom forces you guys to hang out in your bedroom and then you try to escape the awkward situation by calling up your friends to go and do something and then your mom is like, ah, 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 ah. Tú no te vas sin tu primo, eh? Llévatelo. Mamá. Llévatelo. Hair foam does not give moisture, it gives very very light definition, almost like a barely there feel. So hair foam is actually perfect for like hairstyles, like if you want to braid your hair, or like with flexi rods or like a roller set, hair foam is perfect because it's gonna help dampen your hair, but by the time it dries, it's gonna have that hold right there. Now if you find that your hair becomes more defined with moisture as opposed to using a hard hold styler, I highly recommend using a hair cream. It's gonna help give a little bit of moisture, but it's also going to help to give definition. And you can actually use these alone if you want because it's gonna help to provide that little bit of moisture as well as that definition. Speaking of dry hair, let's talk about hair masks. There is a big difference between a deep conditioner and a hair mask. Deep conditioners help to provide intense hydration for frizz that is created by dryness. But hair masks are more specific than deep conditioners. They can be a protein mask, it can be a shine mask, a repairing mask. Like this one is both a deep conditioner and a curl mask. Masks can be used after conditioner or they can be used in place of your conditioner. But to get the most out of a hair mask, you have to leave it in for at least five to 10 minutes so I can actually penetrate the hair strands and do its magic. Now my personal type of styler is definitely a custard. The best way to describe it is like a jelly. Custards do provide definition like hair gel, but they also provide moisture because a lot of the times they contain a lot of extracts. I personally like to use them alone because I feel like it helps my hair be moisturized and defined and shiny. And lastly, hairsprays. In my opinion, hairspray should never be your like main styler because your hair will get stiff. It's best to use as a finishing spray just to lock everything into shape. It just helps to create that strong bond to keep everything together from falling apart. 
So I personally like to use it on my bank account, on my relationships, my job. Helps me from falling apart. All right, Rio, so that was me breaking down the different types of hairstyling products that exist. Let me know down below what kind of hairstyling products that you like. And if you would like to check out some of the brand new products of the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line, I will be linking that down below in the description box. Comment, like, and subscribe, and comment down below what else you would like to see on this channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.